Hi, I'm Scott, and today we're going to unbox and review the Ryobi Hybrid Tripod Work Light on Dad It Yourself. Okay, so this is the Ryobi P782 Hybrid Tripod Stand Light. Uh, let's go ahead and open this up and see what's in the package. Of course, we got some instructions. Feet. And the main light assembly. Let's see if we can figure out how to make this thing go up now. Go ahead and get these feet installed. Three. I don't know how they're going to go in there, but we'll figure it out here in a second. Oh, look at that. There's a tab. Hard to see, but right there. And it just matches up with that slot. These are rubber. They're not hard plastic, which is good because that'll be slip resistant on the hard surface. There we go. Those just rotate right out. And give you that three point stance there. The table's not that wide, so that's about as far as I'm going to get right there. Here's a better shot of that button I was talking about that keeps it in the folded and the locked position. So there's down, and that's locked, and then push again, and back up to the vertical. Uh, that's it. Pretty much fully vertical or fully locked. There is no intermediate position if you wanted to lock this at an angle. So the head unit stowed like this and then there it is. This is a friction fit. There's no knobs or anything to control maybe locking it in place, but it goes from fully down here all the way to, I would say, will that be level with the ground and then a little bit beyond so but i don't see using it in any other position really other than vertical or aiming down in the position you want and there's a whole bunch of leds on there it looks like three six by eight so 48 if my math is correct mini leds on there that should actually give us some. so the mast has three segments and they're all held with these friction clamps. So there's the first one, the second one, and the third one. So in comparison, I would say this is uh, three feet tall when it's completely retracted. And then your choices are Forty-two, forty-eight, and fully extended. It is full five feet tall. All right, so I have a fully charged three amp high performance battery. I'm gonna put that in here. Turn that thing on. I'm pushing that button. So it looks like 
So this light has two settings. Well, three if you include off. So here's off, bright, and not so bright. And off again. So I want to give you a comparison. Obviously, this is pitch black. That's completely bright. That's a little dimmer. This is actually pretty bright. Um, if I turn my fluorescence on and turn this off, it's really almost the same in this general area here. Obviously, behind me is very dark. So the closest I could compare this to with what Ryobi already has is the P721, which is 1800 lumens. This one is 2700 lumens. Provide really the same thing, what you need, but the advantage is with the stand light, you have a lot more flexibility on where you can put it and how you use it. Okay, so one of the things that I don't like about this is these right off the bat uh, they're not bad they do their job but i actually had to go in and tighten all these screws all the way down because it was actually slipping down the other thing is is watch this you can see that so there's that much play in the locking mechanism it doesn't look like much down here but when you go up the pole it actually it's pretty loose and noticeable. I don't think it's going to be a huge issue. It may like wobble a little in, in a good wind. But other than that, I think it'll be fine. That's really the only thing that I don't think is as good as it could be, but it's not bad. So the P728 retails for about 140 bucks from the Home Depot. I actually had to order this one online because it wasn't available in my local store. They now stock it on the shelves. So one of the things I really like about this light is its portability, its flexibility, and its compactability. It folds up really easy. It's easy to transport. Throw it in the back of the truck, the back seat of the car, and off to a job site it goes. Especially here up in the Pacific Northwest where it's gonna start getting dark around three o'clock in the afternoon, this one's gonna get a lot of use this winter. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, go ahead and put those down below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you do, hit the bell for notifications. I've got some videos over here you may be interested in. Subscribe button's right there. Thanks for watching. Data yourself.